Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Wildermyth. So, today we are going to finish scouting out these tiles and trying to clear out some of the infected areas. Um, and we're going to see if we can't make our way over to Moondown. Um, we do have an objective over here, so I would like to get that going. Um, we did actually just get a nice recruit here, so... I think we're gonna send these four and we're gonna have them build this bridge here like we were doing prior so we're gonna do that while these guys are scouting get a nice little build going and we definitely do have a infestation so we're gonna see if we can try and take care of the lurking Morthagi here with our party of Mordmire, Elmdrick, and Dungeon so let's just jump right in and see what we can do um, I mean we can maybe do a quick patrol here why don't we actually do that first a little bit easier on ourselves. Trying to reduce their strength just a tad. There we go. And that'll give these guys a little bit of time to, at the very least, continue building that bridge. Um, actually, why don't we resume? And then we're going to send them to go scout while these guys are fighting. Um, it's not what we want to do. We would need to remove dungeon out of this group here. Oops. Okay, perfect. Now we can send them to scout and we can do a fight on here. So let's get it. Alright, anchors. Dungeon says, okay, I've got one. Favorite fruit. Tomato is botanically a fruit. Does that count? Oh, Mornmire. Sigh. I should have known. You know what? Sure, it counts. Okay, my turn. It actually looks like Mornmire is starting to get a little bit of gray in his hair. I'm not sure if that was a intended thing or if that's always been like that. Um, anyways, he says, favorite thing to fight. That's like asking my favorite rash. <laughs> Least favorite then. Hmm, might have to be more thoggy, says Dungeon. Is that because they're over the next hill, says Mornmire? It's, I can never quite tell if they're alive or not. It's distracting. One of these days is going to mess up or mess with the magic. And here I am, making a career out of him. Meanwhile, Andrick is just kind of <laughs> going ahead over there. As old as I'm getting, sometimes I wonder if it's not too late to start over somewhere. I wouldn't though, realistically. It'd reek of abandonment. Well, we appreciate that, says Mortenmeyer. What keeps you? What about you? What keeps you here? Um... I think Mornmeyer is definitely too curious for his own good, to be honest. The vast story of our age is being played out as we speak, and I simply must know how good a, how a good story ends, even if it takes me through unwise woods. Yeah, he's, he's definitely a curious character here. Among other more virtuous reasons, of course. No, no, I respect that, says Dungeon. Diplomatic of you. I'm not exactly a pillar of shining light myself. Got enough enemies out there, and don't make yourself one too. Fair. More thought you do a fine job of that. We're getting close, says Mornmeyer. Alright, looks like we're getting into some combat here. Okay, we got stunt chance doubled. Now that's going to be absolutely incredible for us. So we got some more thoggy here, and the last time we actually fought them was quite some time ago. And I really don't know what these stone spirits do. Um, but again, I don't want to risk our hero's life trying to do that. So, I think what we're going to do... You know, let, let's take Mornmire and see what we can interfuse with. Yeah, we got that steel fire. I love this ability, guys. As you can tell. <laughs> It is just incredibly, incredibly strong. And uh, why don't we loop our guys around this fire here? See if we can just kind of keep them guard. Okay, we got an alarm that went out, which means we're probably going to get some more guys at some point. Now, I probably could have gotten that stone spirit, but again, I, I want to play things a little bit more on the safe side here. Um, we're actually going to move, move Mornmire right here. Going to interfuse with this 
lamp again. Um, and we're going to illuminate it. And kind of prepare to see if we can um, take out anything that decides that wants to get over to us. So we're actually going to move Eldrick. Um, I think we can attack him from here, or attack with him from here. Yeah, we certainly can. There we go. All right, perfect. And now we can drop him the Sentinel, bring Dungeon back, and give him some guard. And Mornmeyer's got his lamp prepped and ready. Although it looks like that's not going to do him much good right now. Um, well, we might actually have to go open that door. So, yeah, why don't we, why don't we bring him all the way up here? Elmdrick can open that for us. And we'll bring Dungeon over here. I almost want to try capturing this guy. You know, we're going to do it. We're, we're going to go for it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Eldrick is just doing some work. Alright, what's the stone spirit going to do here? Um, I'm not, again, I'm not quite sure what we do with this thing. Oh, here we go. I've read of stone spirits, of course, but nothing beats seeing one in person. Uh, enchant tier 3 water great spear. Oh, we can make it a stone great spear. Or get a legacy point. You know, let's let's get an enchantment. That sounds kind of cool. Interesting. The ash stroke. Okay. Treads one armor and pins all enemies within a two... Oh, that's actually going to be really, really, really strong with the uh, sentinel ability. I, uh... I kind of like that, guys. I kind of like that. It looks like our stunt damage is actually going to go a little bit down, though. But I, I think the, um... Yeah, I think the stone might be a little bit better for us. Alright. So why don't we bring... Actually, yeah, we're gonna bring our guys up to uh, up to Eldrick over here. So then we can interfuse and maybe do a little barrage. Oh yeah. Okay, so we can actually we can actually do a little bit of work here. I think I want to put some damage on one of the heavier hitters, and we'll bring dungeon right here. That way we can protect both of our guys. Okay. Look at that. Eldrick is just becoming so powerful. Alright, what can we do with Mornmire here? We got a workbench. We got Splinter Blast. And Splinter... You know what? We're going to go for the workbench. He is just so useful, guys. So very useful. Oh man, look at that. Easy. Easy as can be. And it looks like Eldrick has... He's become a Blue Horn Warrior. Alright, let's see what he's got here. So, when Eldrick gets a kill, the next attack against him within one turn will miss. That seems very powerful. And we got Blood Rage. Infuriated by wounds, Eldrick deals plus one damage for every two health he is missing. That also seems incredibly good. Um, and then we have Aid. Once per combat, grant an adjacent target four temp health and remove negative status effects. I think we're going to do that. I, I do think we're going to do that. That seems really powerful. And we got something called Ox Glare. Okay, so that is a tier two great axe, which we can give to Xurius here. And it's going to be pretty much a straight up upgrade. Alright, and Dungeon says, Okay, I admit it. I wasn't sure we'd make it through that one. You were scared too. You're just not going to say so. You start to wonder if it's worth it. All this fighting, says Mornmeyer. Oh. You do? Yeah, you're right. Why would you understand? Okay, well, you know I'm not one to offer sage advice. Not for free, anyway. What I can say is, look out for your own, yeah? That's all that matters. Heck, that's all anyone else is doing. It's survival. Real basic, so don't overthink it. Ormeyer doesn't seem to care for that. 
All right, now we have a Weldling that is getting some extra armor after that combat from a Calamity. So it's a good thing we actually invested into some armor piercing with Xurius. So I think that is going to be a good decision on our part. Um, I don't think we can actually do a whole lot with this area because it's flooded. Um, hmm. All right, so I think I think we're gonna send our group of three here and maybe go do some patrolling. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and Moss Oak Woods has been revealed. So we have the Well of Bearfield or Bearfeld. Um, and it looks like we have an infestation here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly patrol with these four, remove that that strength just a little bit, and then we're going to try and uh, assault the well. Alright, so let's do that. Let's bring our second batch of heroes. A ridge of limestone wraps the edge of Well of Bearfield. Find a way in from this direction, and you'd have high ground. You'd have surprise, says Dura. She's battle-hardened at this point, guys. I don't know. Looks impassable, says Zerius. I take impassable as more of a suggestion. <laughs> Reminds me of the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> They're not rules so much as they are guidelines. <laughs> After a few dead ends and false hopes, finally, a promising channel in the stone stretches out in the right direction. Told ya. Azura. Slow steps make steady progress, the stones leaning close, peering over each other's shoulders. Seems sturdy enough. Doing okay back there, Azurius? Kinda tight here. He's too, he's too bulky. Not all of us are made of wet noodles and silk. Some of us got a ugh, warrior's shoulders. Yeah, he's... <laughs> he's over here talking back to his mom, guys. Hey, perfect, says Zura. Here we are. Couldn't ask for a better spot to emerge. Just one last squeeze, and it's to well a Bearfeld. I mean, I could ask for a slightly better spot to emerge, said Zerius. Maybe one that was a little bigger. He's struggling. Imagine the immensity of the sky. Feel small in your soul, and perhaps you'll... Hmm, says Hadza. If anyone asks, tell them I went down honorably. <laughs> He's giving up. Um... Why don't, we, why don't we have him try and push through? Sure there's nothing we could do? Standing back might be best, says Zerius. Painfully aware of each muscle. Zerius twists and tightens each in turn. Boop. Looks like he slipped out. He's all good. Whew, that was downright therapeutic. <laughs> I'm glad we made the right decision, hopefully. Hopefully we did. And it looks like we've also got our stunt chance doubled once more. Alright, so in terms of foe cards, we've got a Geist, a Bogmore, a Rager, a Raccoon, and a Row to deal with. And it looks like they are throwing us directly into the thick of things here. Um, I think what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get a blind here. Yeah, that, that should give us a little bit of help for right now. Um, why don't we do Ambush? Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll take uh, Zurius here. See if we can slap down this raccoon. Very good. Okay, with Zura here. She can use a crystal store. Ooh, that's not good. But we are going to get an ambush from Falalina. There we go. Nice dodge on her part as well. Alright, so we can probably finish her off. Um, it looks like we're going to have some corrupted land drop. So I think we're going to actually move away just a bit here. Oh no, that's not good. Alright, we'll finish him off with Zurius here. 
And it looks like he's also stuck in that corrupted land. So we're going to try and interfuse, and I'm not really sure what we can do with that stone. Um, why don't we move Zura up here? And we're going to get some Quelling Moss and see if we can do some extra, some extra damage to all of these guys. At least before they get here. We might as well try an interfusion. Alright, and it looks like we do get some fire, so we're actually gonna we're gonna wait for that. And use that fire to our advantage when they come around here. Good block from Zura, but it looks like she's probably not gonna be so lucky this time. Oh yeah, she's taking a good bit of damage, guys. Um, I think we're probably going to have to try and get some more fire on this big boy here. And I think we may have killed the monster behind the Geist. I'm not really sure if I want to keep Zura right here. Because we might be in trouble. But what we need to do is we need to try and take it out as soon as possible. And I think the best way to do that is just to try and put as much damage into it as possible. Otherwise, Zura is going to be in a lot of trouble here. And I don't know if we can quite kill him. That's not good. That is not good at all. So, I think what we're going to try and do is we're actually going to move her back. And we're going to Silk Step. We're going to hide her for right now. Because she's not in a good spot. So thankfully that poison actually took out that guy, and that seemed to be the right move here. Because it's now our turn once more, and they aren't going to be going for Zura. So let's use Follow Lena here, do some damage. We'll take Zurius. And he is having a hard time using that, isn't he? And you know, this is probably against my better judgment. I'm not even sure what she did, but you know what? I will take it. <laughs> I will take it. And so Zurius Duffbar is now a Bloodhorn Warrior, and what can we get with that? So melee attacks only cost one only cost Zurius one action. I think that is going to be absolutely fantastic. So we might this this one's looking pretty strong right now. And we also have that teleport ability. And then we also have endurance, which is it might be good, but at the rate that he's been missing, he, he might actually need that battle dance. And then we also have the upgrade to Shield Cheer. Cooldown removed, can use multiple times per turn. That seems incredibly powerful. I think that one's looking good. And since he's pretty much dedicated to removing armor, I think that's I think that's what we're going to go with, guys. And Hatta looks like leveled up a little bit here. So we don't really want to do anything with her melee. Um, let's see, what do we have for Mythweaver? Advanced Anchor Fusions for statues. Um, so we get plus one potency. We get a 50% chance that the Mystic reflects damage while interfused, which is pretty much almost always, guys. We're always keeping our Mystics interfused. So that's incredibly powerful. And then we has, we've also got Lore Dump. I'm not sure what that does. Um, but we also have Greater Constrict. I think Myth, Myth, Mythweaver is probably going to be one of our best bets here. And then we have Long Reach and Indignance. So, again, Indignance seems incredibly strong, but I think Mythweaver's passive is going to be incredibly good as well, because it's going to make her a little bit better, and it's also going to give her a little bit more damage too. So, let's, let's do Mythweaver here. And we've got yet another Great Axe. So... In terms of a Great Axe, what can we do here? Hobbles enemies on attack, plus one stunt damage. Now it is an artifact, so... I don't really think we're going to want to replace Falolina's uh, gear over here. Um, and it it almost looks like it would be better to replace Oxglare for Zurius. Because it keeps that same shred damage, gives more base damage, and gives more stunt damage as well. 
and he is just going to be an absolute monster when it comes to uh, stopping enemies. So I think that's going to be a great addition. All right, now we've got a true Gorgon. So that looks like a new enemy is going to be arriving. Um, unfortunately, there's really not a whole lot that we can do to stop it, but but that is perfectly fine. Now, just to recap what we've done this episode, we have cleared an infestation over here, and we have um, we have liberated, I should say. So we're going to secure this guy just to make sure that we do so, um, and we're going to find an item. We'll recap after that. So we'll let them secure, and we'll send these guys to uh, patrol. And how many legacy points do we have? We've got seven. And we Again, we don't want those extra raccoons at all, because that's just going to make things a little bit more difficult. Um, the extra health seems okay. And I don't think we want a seeker. We don't want to deal with any new enemies. We're still trying to get used to the ones that we have. So I think we're going to cancel out the double raccoon and the new enemy here. But we're okay with giving them extra health because, again, our heroes are growing in power alongside of them. Okay. So let's continue and see what happens here. Alright, so Kingwell has been cleared of infestation. And this one is almost done here, so why don't we get these guys uh, sent on to scouting the Blade Plains. We'll send them over here while this finishes up, and we've got some research. So it looks like we now have that as a resource mill. And we've got ingots and spell, fret, spell threads from doing so, and we've also got a brooch of el elimination. Interesting. I think we might actually have to give this to one of our more powerful warriors. I, I'm really thinking... Eldrick, to be honest, because he has been an absolute powerhouse. Um, it might be, it might be a good idea to do so, but we can also give it to Falalina because she is kind of lacking. So I'm thinking we're gonna do that just to bring her up to speed a little bit. All right, so we're actually looking like we're in somewhat of a good spot here, guys. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna end this episode here. Um, we have cleared the well of Bearfeld. We have sent our party of three to go scouting and to go clearing and patrolling. And they have been doing a fantastic job, I might add. They seem to pair well together. In fact, all of these groups do seem to pair well. Um, Zura did get into a little bit of trouble, so we're going to give her a little bit of time to recuperate. And then we'll see what we can do in the next episode in terms of sending them out together. But... I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, I appreciate you, all you guys, all the support that you guys have been giving me. Um, it's awesome. It really is. And honestly, I look forward to reacting to some more of your comments, getting any kind of more information, just getting to know you guys. So talk to me. Let me know. And make sure you guys like and leave a comment, subscribe. I look forward to hearing from you guys. But I will see you guys next time. So take care.